Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Direwolf 20. I am Ryla, and today we are going to be working on building a little house here in our cherry grove. Uh, cherry orchard grove? What's Cherry blossom grove. Okay, I knew there was another word in there. So we are just going to build a little house and apparently fling wood about. Uh, I was going to get some clear glass, smelt down some sand into clear glass over at the Tinker's Construct Smeltery at the Nexus, and I came over here and I clicked on this and the book was gone. I have no idea where it went. I looked all around thinking maybe I could grab it or pick it up, and no such luck. I have no idea where it went to. It just kind of disappeared. Uh, which is fun, because now I have to wait for somebody to get online, we are currently alone, um, to see if maybe they can come help me out by bringing me another book, or figuring, I don't think there's a way of me crafting the book exactly how it needs to be crafted, I think I do have to have it linked to that, I don't, I don't know, we'll figure it out later. We'll worry about it later. For now, we are going to work on building a little house. I've decided to make it out of the cherry wood planks uh, because I happen to love the cherry wood. I love red. Red is my favorite color, so I use it when I can. Of course, you can also overuse it very easily, which is why we have the birch. In fact, let me make lots of extra birch trees. And I figured we could do the two together. It would look quite nice. Uh, hopefully, anyway, that's the hope. You always kind of hope that. So let's see, if we do some stairs, and the basic premise is just a little house, a couple of stories tall maybe. Um, I'm thinking maybe starting right about here, although I did kind of want to start actually. I'm already messing up, already screwing this up. No, I want, I want you on my bar, and I want you on my bar, and I, I guess I still want you on my bar. Uh, let's actually just do this. Pop this down, and I am going to buy a microphone stand. I have decided listening to the audio when I'm redoing these and hearing the clickety clack of my keyboard, because it's the microphone sits right next to my keyboard at the moment. Let's sleep through the night. Um, so you hear all that clickety clack in the background. It's a little distracting to me. I'm assuming if it's distracting to me, who knows what I am saying, because I am the one who said it, uh, it's probably distracting to anyone watching. So I'm gonna. Buy a microphone stand, see if it helps to get off my desk. All right, we don't want to go too far. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's take it here. We don't want a huge building. Uh, but we definitely don't want anything too tiny either. And then I was thinking like that. Is that weird? That's weird. That is kind of weird. Um, hmm. I was also thinking of doing this and then putting it that, using that for the inside, which is a little less weird having that on the inside, I think. But it's still kind of weird. It is still kind of weird. Maybe what we'll do is just like this. Maybe. I don't know. That's the general idea. I haven't worked out the details <laughs> yet, which is, you know, fun to do on camera, right? Right? Anyone excited about this? I do like this red. This is a nice red. It's a very lovely shade of red. Be very easy to overdo it. I actually have a couch that is this color. It's not technically a couch, it's a love seat, but my love seat is actually this color. And I love it. Maybe just hopefully do not overuse it. We definitely need something at the bottom here. Maybe if we do. Uh, I was going to take the lava over to the Tinker's Construct stuff, which is why I have a couple of lava buckets in my inventory. Maybe if we just do like so. And then do, of course this will have to move. Uh, and then do some of the detailing on the outside. I just don't want it to be just, you know, plain and boring, you know? Have a couple extra things. Okay, we're gonna wanna go up a bit, like so. And then I think what we'll do is have windows that are too tall, like so and just have long, narrow windows. You know, maybe maybe we'll do three tall windows and just go up an extra. Do you think? Maybe? Oops. Our windows are three tall instead. That might look nice. 
course, I want an extra, I want a top floor. Uh, you'll see why in a bit. And that might be too tall. Of course, can you have it too tall? Well, let's see. I'm going to get up here. Uh, we are able to fly now. Just Star broke down and went to the nether, so we're able to fly. I want it on the record. It was not me. <laughs> it was Just Star who could not handle the not flying. Uh, I, of course, am not going to complain. So I, I will take it without any problems. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like, I kind of like it a little bit taller. So I think that's what we're going to do, and I think for this row we'll end up. Oh, Going like this, like so. Maybe. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to play with it off camera a little bit and just kind of see what works, what doesn't work. And once I have basic building constructed, I will be back. All right. I was just working on my house, minding my own business, when I heard an explosion. And that stuff appeared out my window. Uh, it is nighttime, obviously. Not quite sure what's going on. I was actually just in the middle of transferring my stuff to my new basement. We'll show you that later. Uh, minding my own business and I was listening to some stuff, uh, listening to actually some the YouTubers I watch. I had one of their programs on in the background. And I thought for a minute there that it was actually in their episode. And I stopped the game to go see and look at their episode and figure out what happened. And then I realized, no, no, <laughs> it's in this game. And that just appeared. Some blocks have broken. Nothing broke inside. Uh, let's see. Still... I got all kinds of craziness in my inventory because I'm moving, moving stuffs. Um, let's see if we can actually break our bed, bring it inside. Let's sleep so we can go inspect outside without, without dying. Uh, let's put it here. Okay, sleep through the night real quick, and then we'll go out and investigate. I don't want to have to worry about mobs while I'm investigating. Although I haven't come across any mobs. Actually, you know what? Let's let's become a bat. Just in cases. Just in cases. Come on, fly. fly. Am I, what am I stuck on? Oh, my keys aren't in the wrong. Don't have my fingers on the right keys. That's all that is. What is this stuff? Moonstone ore. Ars Magica 2. Moonstone ore. Yeah, something came and put a couple of holes right there. And I have just a regular stone. Okay. And I have moonstone ore. Well, whatever it is, it's, it doesn't seem to kill me. Uh, let's become me so we can see above the grass. What, what, what? Okay. What is that? What did that give me? A moonstone. Alrighty. I have no idea what that was. This is going to require a little bit of investigation, but I've got a new ore, which is interesting. Huh. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to read about that. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. What's going on here? Well, anyway, this is what the progress I've made on my house so far. It is, yes, it's derpy. I know, it's not done. I don't think, I don't think the stairs are working out the way I want them to. Um, I think I'm gonna ultimately take those down and maybe do something with micro blocks to add a little extra dimension to it. Um, I'm just looking for something that's just not flat, you know, just not a flat building. But I'll play with it some more. So it looks, I haven't actually looked at it from outside yet. It looks almost kind of like a firehouse, possibly. Uh, I thought maybe switching off the colors like that would be a good idea. Looking at it now, I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> I probably will go in and change. I just basically reversed it. So uh, birch ceilings, cherry wood outside walls, and then birch walls, cherry wood ceilings, 
And I, yeah, I'm looking at it now. I'm, I'm not thinking that that works quite right. We'll probably switch it out. But this will give you the general. I'll work on a lot of this, doing the detailing stuff off camera and just maybe give you an update. Uh, but this is the basic basic look to it. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about the stairs. And the monster house. It worked for that building. I don't think it works for this building. And even then, even though I liked the way it looked, it was kind of annoying to constantly try to navigate with the stairs on either side. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the second part of the build. Uh, I put that there thinking I'll place that with stained glass. I'll place all of this with clear glass. I might raise it up one more just so it doesn't meet the ceiling like that. I don't know. We'll play with it. I'll play with it later. Like I said, off camera. I'll do all the detailing. And then this is going to be a little bedroom type area with a balcony just for fun. I might extend the balcony just a couple of blocks to make it look better from the outside. Uh, all of these will be elevators at one point. We're just doing stairs for now. I love the elevators. They'll definitely come into play. Okay, and here is... Oh, I thought I had it on me, but I do not. This is essentially why we did multiple levels is because I want to have... Uh, solar panels up here. I have some transformers which are actually intended to be... I only need one right now. Wait, 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 wait. Transformer or bat box? Did I get those confused? I got those confused. Yeah, this is for upgrading the solar panels, which we will do, but it's the bat box I need, not the transformer. Hmm. Oop. No, 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 wait, okay, I didn't want to go down. This is a little basement, just a tiny little basement. This is just going to hold, I don't know, I'm, I'm not intending this to be, you know, the main location. This is just kind of like a little starting base. This isn't going to be any, anything big. It's intended to be fairly small. Uh, here's our solar panels here. And, yeah, the LV transformers are actually intended for when we upgrade our solar panel. You have to have, you have to have those in the center and surround them with these, uh, but we just need this for now. So, and it's the bat box that we need, which I believe is pretty easy to make. Uh, Re-batteries, ooh, actually, the redstone is the issue. <laughs> I have one piece of redstone. One, one piece of redstone. Well, shoot, okay, um, hmm. Oh, do we need a wrench? We probably need a wrench. I thought I was organized until I actually started it. Okay, wrench. We need, does it matter, build craft, industrial craft. We're going to be doing mostly industrial craft stuff, so we're going to go ahead and bronze. We need bronze, which is just what? Copper and metals box. We have some copper. What is it again? Copper and, is it aluminum or iron? Bronze. Okay, does it tell us? Bronzing it. Uh, that doesn't help. Industrial craft bronze. Okay. Bronze dust, which is purified tin. We do have tin. Okay. So we can make we can make some bronze. That's not how you make bronze. That's how you make bronze. Okay. Give me that. Is that gonna be enough? Yes, that's gonna be enough. And we don't have our crafting bench anywhere at the moment. Let's just slap it down somewhere. I don't want a crafting bench for upstairs anyway. I want something kind of an upgraded, more like a project table. Oh, that's copper. That's not bronze. This is the bronze. This is what we want. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take this LV transformer down. That box will go there. I'll probably tear out that little bit. But for now, let's just go ahead and... Oh, can, give me... Don't turn, thank you. And, uh, like this. And there, there, and there. Okay. Yes. And I know I just built this, but we're going to tear it down immediately. I call it, I'll cover all of these with micro blocks. But for now, it's just going to. I mean, all of this, like I said, it's, it's. This is a starter base. This is just to get us going so we can get our ores processing. Uh, I know that's what the Nexus is for. We've actually got a pulverizer already set up at the Nexus, but I kind of want to, I don't want to kind of do that yet. I kind of want to do things on my own. I did go there a couple of times. I've used the smeltery because I just don't see the point in doing the smeltery again. 
Um, I did not think this through. <laughs> okay, no, no, here we go. What we'll do is we'll just go behind, sort of. No, we can't go behind. Can we go behind? All right, I didn't, yeah, let's see. What I essentially want to do is go under, I'm gonna go under this way. This is where I want to be. And we have that, if we go two back, I think we'll be okay. It's not gonna be, a, it's gonna be a little bit of a waste of materials, but it's not gonna be, not gonna be terrible. I keep going up and down. I apologize. I'm a little discombobulated. It doesn't help that my cat's running around like a crazy feline in the background doing, I don't know what, one of those insane cat things where it's necessary for them to run back and forth at high speeds for no apparent reason whatsoever. Okay. Put that away, put that away. And make some more of these wires, which is not how you make the wires. I think you need this and this, correct? And I don't have any available yet. No, okay. I don't have any pre-made, so it goes like this. Excellent. And then hopefully this is enough to cut with. Yes, excellent. Okay. And then we get, I think we just get one per. So we're actually going to need more rubber. Okay, yeah, I had a grindstone out and I was doing a lot of this grinding on my own, which was not necessarily the best solution. Let's go down one. Um, yeah, and then go here. And then there we go. This takes a little extra cable. But eventually I will hide the vast majority of this. I'm not too concerned about making the basement look nice. Okay. There we go. And one right there. Excellent. And I think we can fit one right there. Excellent. And then we'll remove these planks and fit the other four there. And we'll have a pulverizer and a redstone furnace. No, no, no not a pulp. It's a macerator. Because we're going to do IC2. This is going to be all IC2 stuff in this particular building. So, yeah, see, all of this. All, eventually, I'll figure out a way of hiding all of it. So. It's not right out there. It's I think it's still better than what it was. I mean, it's it's a little better. And I still like this color combination. I might actually come in with open block stuff and actually paint this white. Just a nice clean white. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and off camera. Uh, or should I go off camera? Do you guys want to see? Anybody interested in IC2 stuff? Probably not. I think there's lots of steps involved. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and I'm going to make a pulverizer, excuse me, a macerator. Um, in fact, let's take a look. Is it called IC2 here or is it called industrial craft? IC2, excellent. Okay. Uh, so we are going to make, um, da -da -do. hopefully we have enough. I want a pulverizer, which is somewhere, macerator. I keep calling it a pulverizer. Macerator though, that's what I want. Oh no, yeah, this is going to take me a while. We need more redstone. We're going to need so much more. I was so focused on making sure I had enough iron and copper that I didn't even think about all the redstone I was going to need. We did this to ourselves. Okay, well maybe we can go ahead and be a little tricksty. And what does a pulverizer take? More redstone. And gold. If I had one more piece of redstone, I could at least get a pulverizer going. <sighs> okay. Um, hmm. Well, then, <laughs> this throws a little bit of a wrench into our plans. Let's get rid of all this crap. Okay, keep that. Put the wood in here. And this is metals. Okay. Yeah, this is going to require... This is going to require some caving. I need some redstone. Uh, once once I get a nice little system going with my IC2 machines and I'm pleased with that, the plan is then to go set up a quarry in our mine it to bits world, uh, the Nexus world. Uh, once we get away from the Nexus itself, we plan on, you know, just that's all up for grabs. We can just tear it up. So that is the intention anyway. And I 
think that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I've got some mining to do. Uh, I'm not going to subject y'all to that. <laughs> I will do that off camera. I will probably, possibly build the IC2 machines on camera. You know, while I'm talking, instead of just standing here looking at stuff, let's actually go mining uh, while I, I'm wrapping this up. Um, so yeah, so oh, I need to get moss. That's another thing I need is I need a liquid transposer. Is that what it's called? Liquid, liquid something. Okay, yeah, that's why I was doing branch mining for copper. Uh, copper spawns at a higher level in Direwolf 20 than it does in some of the other mod packs. Uh, this is level 52, I think. Yeah, 52. Uh, copper spawns between 50 and 55. So that's why that, that was there. I did just a brief bit of branch mining and I found I found pretty much exactly what I needed. No, it's, we keep going. I was trying to do some branch mining like through here thinking thinking this was oops, this was at copper level, but it was not. Uh so yeah. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so I think next episode or I think what the general plan is as opposed to not just not just next episode, but for this series in general, I think, ooh, I hear a slime. Uh, what the intention is, is going to be is checking to see if we're on redstone level. Okay. Is I think we're going to go ahead and do the IC2 stuff. I might show that on camera depending on how organized I can get and if I can find all of my stuff. I don't need this. We'll take this anyway. Uh, but I definitely want to start playing with some of the mods, and I want to start getting into the bees. I actually have a plan for the bees. We're not going to go whole hog into them, so to speak. Um, I think I'm going to get some of the basic levels down, and then go from there. Uh, get the the common and the cultivated and that sort of thing, and then let those guys run uh, while we're doing other stuff. Um, and kind of, I'll, I'll, the bees will probably be ones that I go back and forth to because as much as I love it, it's super grindy and I think everyone will get really bored of it really fast if I do nothing but the bees. I do want to start exploring the mods a little bit more. Uh, I do want to branch out some more than we did last time uh, in the monster world. Oh, what kind are you? Are you the nasty kind? We're going to block this off just in case. No, none of you. Okay. I'm actually looking for redstone, and I'm finding everything but. Because I haven't been down here that long. Uh, but yeah, we'll do the IC2 machines off camera. I'll fix up... Well, I, I don't know. I keep changing my mind. We'll see how I feel. The day I'm ready to record, we'll see if I want to record that or not. It's really, you know, the whole point of this is to have fun, so... If it's something I'm in the mood to do that day, I'll show it. If not, I won't bother. Uh, just show when it's all said and done. I'll fix up the house, work with the bees, get a little bit more into the mods. Ooh, I hear you, Enderman. And I, I think now at this point I'm repeating myself. It's kind of those those spiders are distracting me. So yeah, so that's the intention. That's the plan. Uh, I apologize for this episode being a little bit disjointed and not. Not exactly what I want to do. I thought I'd have a whole finished built house with solar panels and all prepared for some machines. Uh, instead, I'm, I'm having to hunt for redstone and get more things together. Uh, it, one thing one thing I have to say about these mod packs is you usually end up having to do stuff you didn't expect you needed to do. Every time you turn a corner and get one thing done, you find out, oh, you need you know ten other things. So, which is kind of good. I mean, good and bad. On one hand, it's kind of frustrating. Like, oh, I just did this. <laughs> like the redstone. I just went mining for all the copper and all the other stuff I thought I needed. And now I'm having to mine for redstone. So that's a little bit frustrating. But on the other hand, everything comes so easy. That's one of the reasons why I don't want to jump into the nexus right away. Is I do like the challenge of initially setting up your own stuff and getting it going. And then, of course... You can only stand so much of that before you just want to be able to build and, and do things um, which require additional resources and, and then it then it becomes nice to get to all that. I've been down here before. I don't think there's any redstone here except for that right there which is I'm looking right at. <laughs> oh 
and here's oh you're a little baby slime you're so cute and you're going to die oh now i'm morphing oh no i don't morph in this one not automatically anyway let's get that redstone can we get the redstone without dying that is the question oh i was here before and i did not grab it huh came all the way over here for redstone and i did not grab it well i don't know if it was redstone maybe that's why i didn't grab it well, that was not as helpful as I hoped. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm kind of in a safe spot. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I forgot I had that on. <laughs> I forgot I was wearing that. Oh, that's perfect. That's excellent. Alrighty. So, yeah. So thanks, everyone, for watching. My name is Ryla, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh,